Arbor Place Mall, and the City of Douglasville are proud to present the City Connector Christmas Special. Featuring the Douglas County High School a cappella group Fawside, the Church at Chapel Hills, the Douglas County Chamber Singers, and the Community Christian Orchestra Brass Ensemble. Now, please welcome the stars of our show, Kelly Hunter and Janice Thompson. Well, welcome to this special Christmas edition of City Connector. We're glad that you're here out in the audience with us, and we have a viewing audience on City TV, Comcast 22. Thanks for being Janice. It's a great evening. We're kicking off this Christmas season here. Yes, and we have a wonderful group. Our very first group is the Douglas County High School a cappella group, and we're glad that they're joining us. And all of the groups we have lined up today have several songs. We're going to interview each of those um, directors prior to that, but let's step over this way and let's say hello to Carl Colkin yes. and tell us about the group and the numbers you're performing tonight. The group is Fawside. Uh, it was started about two years ago. Uh, these kids meet from 7.15 till about 8 o'clock in the morning, Tuesdays and Thursdays. It's a commitment that they make to do it. We'll be doing three numbers today. We're going to do Good King Kong Looked Out, Linus and Lucy, and Jingle Bell Rock will be our third piece. Wow, that sounds exciting. How does he get high school students committed to be at the school at 7.15? How do y'all do that? Not easy. Not easy? <laughs> they love it. <laughs> See, that's what I thought they were going to say, the love of music. The love and of music. to have you guide them. They, they love to be here. and I, It's tough to wake up that early in the morning, but uh, I wouldn't do it if it wasn't for these kids. Right. Well, let's put our hands together, listen to Fawside and their music, kicking us off here on our Christmas special. Thank you so much.
Douglasville invites you and your family to join the holiday celebration and festivities in downtown Douglasville Friday, December 2nd. The Douglasville Second Annual Lighted Christmas Parade with Grand Marshal Santa himself will travel down Church Street at 6.30. Then Santa will arrive back in the plaza for his photo session with children of all ages. Christmas music will fill the air with the voices from local participating choirs. And at 9 p.m., celebrate with us the annual tree lighting ceremony. It's an evening for the entire family and the opportunity to experience the Christmas season. Join your neighbors downtown and let's celebrate Christmas together. Welcome back to our City Connector Christmas special. Janice, this is uh, always a fun time of year where we get to kick off the season with Christmas music and the Christmas spirit. 
here with City Connector. But I, I tell you what, though, always happening in the city of Douglasville is some grand events. Who do we have with us to talk with that? And Randy's here to tell us about an upcoming event that you children will want to keep your ears posted. And who's coming to town? Santa. On December 2nd at 6.30 is our second annual Christmas parade. So, and Santa's actually the Grand Marshal this year, so it will be a great time. Um, like I said, that starts at 6.30 on Church Street. And then at 7, we're going to have some local choirs and um, church groups and stuff like that come out and start uh, singing on the plaza. So they're going to start at 7, and then Santa's going to make his way back to the plaza at 7.30 for pictures with anybody who wants their picture made with him. And then at 9 o'clock, we have the annual um, mayoral lighting of the Christmas tree. So there'll be a lot of stuff going on that mm -hmm. night. So you can actually come get your picture made with Santa, bring your li letter so he's you well aware of what your wishes are, and then ha the mayor help him light the Christmas tree. Yes. And I tell you, we have a great lineup of several different choirs that are performing for about a two-hour period. Oh, yeah. All throughout the night on the plaza, there'll be uh, some other little things going on, like hot chocolate and some other little people selling things. But also, yeah, the music will be going starting at 7 up until the tree lighting. And one thing that we're doing on City uh, TV this year is we're broadcasting that uh, lighted Christmas parade live on the air, and then we're switching over to all of the events that are happening there on the plaza as well. So you can catch us on uh, City TV, Cast 22, MyCityTV.com, if you want to watch it uh, streamed live on the web as well. So lots going on. Absolutely. And then, of course, approaching the new year, we'd love to have you join us here as our guest or come tell us what you're participating in in the community. And we're here always the fourth Tuesday of each month, and we'll move back up to the food. Back to the food court area. Food court. So that's right. The fourth Tuesday of every month, we have City Connector, and that's where your local organization and event can come and promote what you have going on in our community. Absolutely. Just like Randy did here with the uh, City Christmas Parade. Tell us that date and time again. December 2nd, the parade gets started on Church Street at 6.30. What if, uh, how about if we have somebody watching, they want to be an entry in that, that parade? Still time? Yes, there is still time. You can call 770-947-5920 or you can visit um, our website at ci.douglasville.ga.us. All right. It's a great night, so join us December, December the 2nd, downtown Douglasville. Okay. But you know what? Janice here for the evening. We've got more music lined up. Who do we have as our next guest? I know they're standing there and waiting. Absolutely. Our next guest is the church at Chapel Hills, and we're delighted to hear all about what's going on there. Let's hear them perform first, okay. we'll talk with them after.
heaven and nature sing and heaven
surrender to your love the church at Chapel Hill. Can we hear it one more time for them? That was a great song. And guess what? That song has a special meaning, does it not? Joining us uh, to my right here is David McIntyre, Brett Devine. You two guys, there's a story behind that story, or behind that song. We want to hear about it. Absolutely. The song Surrendered comes from an upcoming film that we've done at the church at Chapel Hill called Surrender. And you'll notice there are some great words within that, within that song. It talks about the tapestry of our lives. Right. And this movie is about asking that question, you know, what would it look like if the tapestry of our lives were woven before us and we had already seen it ahead of time? Mm -hmm. The question we ask is if we knew ahead, would we surrender? There you go. And that's what is so thought about this film. That's the theme of the, of the movie then. Mm -hmm. And I guess standing beside me, we have Brett, you were the writer, producer, Director, editor, did you act in the play too? No, I didn't. You, did, you don't want to see me act, but I guess I did a couple of those things. But uh, like David said, this really is a film that is talking about um, this man's life named Jay Harding and going through the Christmas season and all the trials and the tribulations he faces. And what if he could have seen what was going to happen before it actually happened? Would he have made the same choices? Would he have done things differently? So that's what it, the premise of the film is all about. And I have seen the trailer. Your face does look familiar. So <laughs> tell us, though, for our listening audience here with us tonight, as well as on City mm -hmm. TV, when and where can they catch the movie? Um, you can check out the movie on December 17th and December 18th at the church at Chapel Hill. Uh, on December 17th, it's a Saturday. It'll premiere at 6 p.m. And then December 18th, that Sunday, at 9, 12, 3, and 6. So five different opportunities. Also, you can go online to surrenderedthemovie.com, learn a little bit more about it. And then for those of you that may not be in the area that weekend, you can actually watch it online as we'll be streaming all five viewings. Oh, wow. uh, so everybody should be able to check it out. And we're going to make it real easy to do so. And then if I want to enjoy this throughout the year, are there DVD copies that are available right. for purchase? Right. Again, you can go to surrenderedthemovie.com. We'll have the DVDs available. And you can actually pre-order the DVDs right now just to make sure you get one right. before they're all gone. For the holiday season. Well, thank you guys for performing that uh, theme song from the movie thank here you. live with us and telling us the story behind it. And Janice, it's uh, December the 17th and 18th. And that's correct. Saturday, Sunday, weekend. Five opportunities, right? Five. All right. What a great outreach program that your church is doing. And congratulations to thank you, you so much. and you for great. making this available. And, and you know, there's another great thing about it, and that is this movie and coming to see this is not about a denominational thing. It's not about churches or anything. It's about an opportunity for people to see Christ in a way they haven't before. That's Thanks right. for the opportunity. Right. Thank, thank you so much. Well, thank you for serving our community. We'll be back with more City Connector right after this. The City of Douglasville invites you and your family to join the holiday celebration and festivities in downtown Douglasville Friday, December 2nd. The Douglasville Second Annual Lighted Christmas Parade with Grand Marshal Santa himself will travel down Church Street at 6.30. Then Santa will arrive back in the plaza for his photo session with children of all ages. Christmas music will fill the air with the voices from local participating choirs. And at 9 p.m., celebrate with us the annual tree lighting ceremony. It's an evening for the entire family and the opportunity to experience the Christmas season. Join your neighbors downtown and let's celebrate Christmas together. Welcome back to the City Connector Christmas special here at Arbor Place Mall. Janice, every time we have the cameras thrown on us, we have someone else behind us. And get to enjoy some beautiful music. And that's what, exactly what we're doing on our Christmas special here. And joining us is Vicki Orm with the Douglas County Chamber Singers. Vicki, tell us about your group and the numbers you're going to perform tonight. And also give us an idea. We want to enjoy some more of this beautiful Christmas music. When and where can we do that? 
Um, we've been in existence 10 years. This is our 10th year anniversary, and uh, we've been excited to do new things this year and to have a, an exciting program. We have just done our Messiah Sing Along. We will do another one next year. We invite people to join us for that. Our concert is on Friday, December 9th, and we invite everybody to come sing that see us for that. It is free of charge, no admission, and we'd love to have everybody come. Today we're going to sing the 12 days after Christmas, the first Noel and Mary's little boy child. Very and good. Could you just remind us your performance will happen where on the night? It's the, the First United Methodist Church on Presley Mill Road. And tell us the time in December the, okay, December the 9th and what time do you begin? Eight o'clock, and it's on Friday. We've had our uh, concerts on Tuesday typically, but this is on Friday, so people need to remember that we're on Friday, not Tuesday. All right. Well, we are excited to hear you guys again. You joined us last year. We appreciate that joining us again. Y'all have beautiful voices. We are ready to hear you perform tonight. You. All right. Thank you very much.
on the front row. Yes, and we're about to uh, hear our last performance, the Community Christian uh, the Orchestra. orchestra. Yeah. And they've pulled together an ensemble for the event tonight. And joining me to my right here is the director of the Christian Community Orchestra, Ms. Jan Booth. Tell us about the ensemble. Introduce them. Let, them, let us know what numbers you're performing tonight and anything else you'd like to let us know, like a special event coming up. Thank you very much. I'm Jan Booth, uh, the director and for 19 years of the Christian Community Orchestra. We have an ensemble who has spent some extra time in working together and they're called the Celebration Brass Quintet. Uh, Ashley Lord is on trumpet, Ramon Beatty is on trumpet, Barry Gillis is on French horn, Glenn Madison is on the trombone, and Joe Hamilton on the tuba. And I know that you'll enjoy them as they'll be playing Angels from the Realms of Gro Glory, Good Christian Men Rejoice, Go Tell It on the Mountain, and then Angels We've Heard on High. And those all sound like some favorite numbers to enjoy the season with. Thank you for giving of your time. Thank you to you gentlemen being with us tonight. Janice? Yes, and we'll just sit back and enjoy. I think so.